What's up, folks? Review. I've been out in these uh, sitting in the streets. So I saw um, Insta Family starring Mark Wahlberg and uh, Rose Byrne and Isabella Mona, the young teenage actress. Um, it's a family movie. It's a comedy. Uh, Sean Anders is the director and co-writer. He he might be the most known for um, shoot, the name of it, Daddy's Home and Daddy's Home Two. So clearly he has a good relationship with Mark Wahlberg. And this film is from he said on the little pre pre movie message or the confessional how it's kind of, how it's based upon his actual life of adopting three kids. Uh, and he wanted to make a movie about this and uh I guess about adoption and showing that in a good light. And I think he did a good job. This isn't um, some groundbreaking piece of a film or super duper smart uh, piece of comedy writing. Man, it, it got some slapstick in it. You got um, Mark. I still like to call him Marky Mark. So I'm going to call him Marky Mark. You still got Marky Mark up here. And his um, comedy, earnest, nice guy. No, you know, there's a couple different Mark Wahlberg in these movies, you know what I'm saying? You know, he gotta say the super badass, tough guy. Then there's like the likable tough guy, you know, the Boston guy. And then, you know, then there's like, you know, the comedic version of that, which is basically Daddy's Home character, or the uh, the other guy's character. And then there's the, the guy you've seen like in like Ted. And Rose Byrne feels in this movie basically like her the same type of character she was in Neighbors and Neighbors Two. Um, so basically, you got these this married couple, Pete and Ellie. Um, I wouldn't say they're a young couple, but they're not an old couple. You know, it looks like they're in like in the, you know early forties or forty, and they haven't had kids yet. They're not really thinking about having kids because then they run this nice home. Innovation business, you know, they buy homes that are crappy looking and then they renovate them and they flip them, make money. Um, after having a conversation with uh, Ellie's sister and her husband about, you know, her, them having kids and basically how Ellie's so probably perfect, and then she starts thinking, well, you know, maybe we should have a family. You know, maybe we should adopt if we have a lot of kids. Then, you know, they need homes and need people to take them in. And then, uh, you know, Mark, Mark and Woodworks, Peter's like, I don't know. I don't know. We got a good thing here, you know, smashing up stuff, renovating these homes. Then they start looking at, like, kids in these homes, and they get all sappy and sad, and they go to the, the foster parents thing, and they get the little orientation, and they meet Tig Notaro and Olivia Spencer, Octavia Spencer as these uh, social workers who teach all these parents on how to be foster parents and stuff and tell them how, uh, there's a lot of kids in the system and how being a parent is hard and have a great comedic duo between those two and you know you kind of expect Tignatal to kind of be the sarcastic one but she isn't she's kind of like really the, the the straight woman you know the altruistic straight woman the square where Octavia is like the snarky funny I got them jokes and it works really well. So basically, in this movie, they kind of get out the whole white couple uh, adopting kids that might be kids of color out of the way. We're making jokes about like the Pete characters, like yo, uh, you know what if you know you know like Avatar, you know these white people we come in and we help them. This is that, and they go through all like the jokes of how like I guess I kind of like suspect. So they kind of get that out of the way. And they have one parent, they have one woman in there playing the mom who just wants like a teenage black boy that has high sports potential. And they just call her, uh, shoot, the, uh, shoot that dad on movie with, uh, damn, what's the 
think of it. He's I'm trash on this review. Blindside. They call her Blindside the whole movie. It's funny. So basically, when you go out to like meet some kids, you know they do what you know what you expect. They try to meet all the little kids, and that doesn't go too well. Then they meet the, the snarky uh, teenage girl, the fifteen year old played by Isabella Moni, who has also been in the movie Marky Mark. That trash ass Transformers last night. She was like the random Latin girl that was just hanging out with Transformers for no reason. But um, she's in this. She's really good. She plays a young girl named Lizzie. And they take a liking to Lizzie. And they want to like, take her in and create a new foster parents. And then the social worker is like, yo, she caught a set. She got a little brother and a little sister. A little brother named Juan. And uh, little sister named Lita. Yeah, that's that word. But yeah, they take him in. Comedy ensue. We got a five year old girl being like all like, you know, five year old girl in movies cute. And then you have the boy, and he's always worried about like breaking stuff, and he's always getting hurt. So this movie does a good job of kind of just taking all that in. They have some good comedic points of them getting overwhelmed. You have the points where like the teenager outwitting them by using teenager logic and they're not prepared for this. And then you have moments where they have to like kind of come together through like emotional crises of either lashing out or one of the kids getting hurt. They go through all this and the the I just spoiled the whole thing, you know. They end up becoming a big family. The spoilers in the fact that he's based on this man's life and he actually got three kids that he adopted. So, in the end, if you got some kids, you know it's a family movie, and you can't take them to see what else, man. You can't take them to see what else. And hey, you know what? Maybe your kids ain't into Harry Potter. So maybe you ain't going to see Fantastic Beasts. I'm going to get the Fantastic Beasts in another joint. You know, man, a kid real little... You might not be, they ain't built for this on this stuff in that day. Fantastic bees anyway. You can go to this and have a good old time. You know, but you can also wait for the young girl FSX or TNT or USA or one of the channels all the dag on time. Either way, it's going to be a joy movie. It's worth watching. You're going to laugh. It's good. It's not a waste of money. It's not a waste of time. It's not amazing. It's in the middle. It's like a three, a three star movie. And there you go. that's all I gotta say about Instagram. You can listen to Ignorant Bliss on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and any other place that you can listen to podcasts. You can also find this podcast on the Taylor Network of Podcasts. I would like to give thanks to all the my patrons on Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash Julian Lytle, L-Y-T-L-E. You can follow me by my name, Julian Lytle, and I-G-B-L podcast on Twitter for the Ignorant Bliss podcast. You can also email the show at ignorantblisspodcast at gmail.com with any questions, comments, or, you know, whatever. Any likes or shares or reviews on our podcast is deeply appreciated. Also, you can check out the site ignorant-bliss.com.